Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about critical tower defense. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, hello, 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 and welcome back, or welcome to the Shota Sodas official YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to play Critical Tower Defense, a fairly popular Critical Strike inspired tower defense game. This short video guide will go over everything that you need to know in order to get started in CTD. So, let's go ahead and begin by taking a look at the lobby and user interface. In Critical Tower Defense, every single game must begin by starting at the game hub slash lobby. Here, you can collect daily bonus coins, shop for towers, and join a game, among other things. To join a game, simply stand inside of one of these several map boxes and wait a few seconds. If you see a map you don't like, then it's quite easy to simply wait until it randomizes again for a new map selection. Next, let's take a look at how to navigate the General User Interface, or UI. On the left of the screen, we have a few buttons. The top is called Equipment, and displays an icon of a backpack. In the Equipment UI, we can purchase towers, emotes, and crates. Also, as of June 29th, emotes and crates aren't in the game. Below equipment, we have bounties. My understanding of these isn't very deep yet, so that will be its own video. What I do know about bounties is that when you beat or triumph a map, you will get a reward, such as experience points or an exclusive tower depending on the map. Aside from that, we have the Robux button, which allows you to purchase either coins or game passes with Robux. The other button, below Robux, has three lines as its icon. Inside, you'll find an option to view your profile statistics and create a loadout. Loadouts can be useful for different maps. For example, one map may have you using a lot of cliff towers, so you'll optimize your loadout for cliff towers. Another map may have a lot of twists and turns, so you'll optimize your loadout for towers that can either do area damage or have good range to take advantage of the corners. Anyways, that's all you really need to know for the lobby and user interface, so let's move on to the next section of the video, Towers. Equipping a tower is actually quite simple. Go to Equipment, navigate to Towers, and simply select the ones that you want. Every player is given the Scout and Archer Towers for free the first time that they join. After that, it's up to you to play the game and unlock more towers which can be purchased with coins. Additionally, it does appear that an option for customizing or upgrading towers from this menu will be coming in the future thanks to the blue Coming Soon button next to Equip. And now that we have equipped our towers, it's time to learn how to use them. To do this, let's move on to the next section of the video, Playing the Game. Alrighty, we've already equipped our towers and learned how to navigate CTD's user interface. Now, it's time to learn how to place down and upgrade towers. To do this, let's hop into a match by going into the lobby and selecting a map and difficulty. After that, we can join into a match to learn how to place down and use towers. For this example, I'll be using the Grenadier, Scout, and Archer, as they have a pretty nice variety of placement and use styles, so they'll allow me to best demonstrate ways to play. Let's go ahead and hop into a solo match. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and place down our first tower by selecting it and dragging it to where we want. I went into the in-game settings and turned off floaty placement for towers so that they are way easier to control. If you select the wrong tower, you can cancel the action by pressing Q on your keyboard. Once you have the selected tower placed down, you can upgrade it and read statistics by clicking on the tower and pressing the upgrade button. Okie dokie. Let's move on to the next and final section of this video. Strategy. For this part, we'll be discussing strategies with the three towers that I have selected, as well as a heaping handful of general info. So, to start off, I usually like to use my cheaper towers, as they perform best at the start of the game. Since the scout is my cheapest tower, it'll be the one that I start out with. Once you unlock it though, gunner is definitely worth using instead of scout. Anyways, like many other ranged towers in CTD, Scout performs the best either right next to a long path, or on a corner to take advantage of the range. Melee towers are especially powerful on corners, since that allows them to maximize a very limited range.
Also, I don't normally have to do this, but I ended up placing a grenadier towards the end of the map to help with excess crowd control. You'll notice throughout this footage that I often use the skip button, but not always. This is because the skip button moves to the next round and therefore gives you the money, but it also means that you have to deal with more zombies in a short amount of time. Now, I'll go ahead and place down a few grenadiers to help with crowd control while the scouts do some of the heavier lifting. The dummy monster can be a huge pain if it escapes the range of towers, so using towers such as Archer will make it easy to pick off leaked dummies that normal towers can't get to thanks to massive range and high damage. If you must, three to four archers will be plenty sufficient for most leaked dummies. And at higher levels, archers can easily take down bosses and a decent amount of spammed dummies. After I ended the recording, I died to the slow boss because I was not paying attention to it. To prevent that, I would have upgraded my archers to as high of a level as possible and placed down another one. Anyways, I think that is all for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed and learned how to play Critical Tower Defense. If you enjoyed and want to see more content, please do like and subscribe. Don't forget to use code SHOWDES at RedDragonShop.com. Have a great day. Bye bye.